This movie is one of the most stressful things that I've seen in a while. Spoilers ahead. So I watched Shiva Baby because I saw the film Bottoms a few weeks ago and wanted to check out more stuff from the director. I thought this was going to be a comedy and it is, but I ended up feeling more stressed than laughing, to be honest. Shiva Baby is a movie designed to make you feel uncomfortable. I haven't seen any other film that actually makes me uncomfortable for so long. Some films have small moments like that, but the whole movie, I could feel my shoulder stance by the end of it. The film takes you into a Shiva, which is like a funeral service for those who don't know, and it blends a sugar daddy who is married and an ex-girlfriend, all of those top with a very distinct Jewish family gathering with all the pros and cons that that comes with, lots of food, but you're not surviving the brutally honest comments. The acting is overall good. Rachel is quite amazing here. She really communicates how stressed out she's feeling. The cinematography is perfect for what the film wanted to achieve. The way it has a a lot of close-ups paired with shallow depth of field and sometimes angular lenses makes it very uncomfortable to look at. The aspect ratio also makes you feel like you're trapped in a box. Then it releases you for a few seconds until it goes back into the close-ups. The music works great with the film. Those violins paired with the close-up shots really make you tense. For a debut film, I must say I'm quite impressed. It's a stylistic film about a simple subject, but it works quite well. There are so many things things that the protagonist has to juggle with, one can't help but wonder what would I do in that situation. And that just adds to the stress. I like how varied and creative the directorial style of Seligman is. I've only seen two movies, but they're both distinctly different, yet share some irreverent sense of humor. Also, I wasn't expecting to see Quinn from Glee here. That was nice. She hasn't aged a second. That's why I thought at first she was a lookalike. Overall, Shiva Baby is not a movie I'm going to be watching again soon. It really stressed me out, but it's undeniably a great film that achieves its purpose. As always, thank you for watching. See you next time.